Mukbang is originated in South Korea and translates to eating shows. There are many mukbang channels on social media. Each of them have their own style of entertainment. The bizarre flirty trends that I have seen on the internet is this belly stuffing mukbang where women showing off their bloated stomach while eating a lot of junk food. Others eating raw meat. The rest are just over the limit. People who do the mukbang videos eat mostly junk food and in some instances they take an exorbitant amount. While it can be seen as a form of gluttony, it is also often seen as a form of entertainment and a way to connect with others around a shared interest in the food. The parents of a three-year-old girl had been accused of using their social media account to first feed their toddler with enormous amount of junk food for likes. The child, who goes by the name Patchy, first gained public attention in 2018 when social media users said watching her eat could stimulate their appetite. The parents upload videos of the girl eating high calorie of food with a caption, Such a little baby, prodigious stomach. In one video clip, Pechi is seen waving her hands and saying, Don't add more food, while her parents continue to fill the bowl. People were concerned when they noticed the three year old child looking much heavier than her peers. The title of one recent video claimed that Pechi weighed 35 kilograms. The incident quickly became a trending topic on Weibo. The Chinese platform like Twitter, millions of web users accused the parents of forcing Patchy to make eating videos in a bid to generate revenue. One commenter wrote, The parents are using the child as a cash cow. They don't care about the child's health and well-being at all. And a third user replied, The authorities need to investigate this and severely punish the parents. Patchy's parents have denied the accusations, claiming that their daughter had been healthy and they had filmed the videos just for fun and they had never exploded her for profit. Some of the videos they upload with titles, her toy car collapsed because she's too heavy, big stomach and finish within seconds. The little girl's video channel was removed from the site after the incident sparked an uproar online. Another case in South Korea, a YouTube channel, Titwa2GTV, which features twin girls, also came under fire after sharing a video of the two girls eating a giant octopus. The title of the video captioned, Twins who weighed 15 kg eat a 10 kg of octopus. The girls can be seen in the video exhausted, showing on the legs of the octopus, leading people to comment that the parents was irresponsible in making content that is too much for the girls. However, some people are also stating that the parents are just trying to have fun with their kids and didn't see any issue with it. After China cracked down on people doing online eating shows as part of the country's national campaign to curb food waste, vloggers found an alternative idea by using their pets for food challenges. Similar to the viral mukbang videos, animals are shown eating an unusual amount of food and snacks. In most of these videos, animals are first fed, sometimes with food items not ideal for pets. In one live stream video clip, a dog owner forces German Shepherd to eat a bowl of Lassiji or Changqing chili chicken, a regional dish known for its extremely spicy flavors. 
The dog can be seen in the video, obediently munching on the dish, with tears that seemingly triggered by how spicy the food was. The Chinese owner wrote on the post, he is enjoying it very much, referring to the German Shepherd. Another content creator shows two dogs first to eat 38 different kinds of human snacks and drinks all together as a food challenge. Such content has attracted hundreds of thousands of likes despite most animals featured in this type of videos do not appear as happy as their owners claim. As mukbang becomes increasingly widespread, there is growing interest about the impact of mukbang on public health, despite mukbang videos having a very positive impact on people's perception of food, it also has a dark side. Often, the people that make these mukbang videos eat more than what an average person is supposed to eat. There's so many layers. Nicholas Perry, better known as Nicocado Avocado to his 3.5 million YouTube followers, is an internet sensation from Pennsylvania who has become a multi-millionaire by filming himself page eating ungodly amounts of food and documenting his weight gain journey. Nikocado Avocado is known around the world for his dangerous fast food challenges, but he shocked some of his supporters by revealing what he used to look like. He was once a slim vegan whose ambition was to become a professional musician. The former violinist was working in Home Depot on the side but ditched his Broadway dream for making videos instead. And he became an online star by doing extreme fast food challenges where he gorges an obscene amount of greasy grub for other people's entertainment. In this video from summer 2022, Mr. Barry is celebrating his 400-pound milestone with food from the Cheesecake Factory.